So, if anyone has been following me long enough, you know I love my sweets. So today, I'm going to make dessert gnocchi. They're cinnamon buttered covered gnocchi. So this is every Italian girl's dream, especially mine because I just love sweets. So you're gonna start with, uh, only it's only a few ingredients, but you're gonna cook a bag of potato gnocchi, a 16 ounce bag, one pound. I'm gonna come over to the stove because there's one thing that I have learned um, with cooking gnocchi all these years is that you really want to place it in to really only simmering water. The bag says boiling, but it explodes the gnocchi. So I, I brought the water to the boil and now I turn it down and I'm lightly going to drop these potato gnocchi into this water. And I, for this recipe in particular, you really just want them al dente. So I'm going to give it a stir but I only want them to probably cook for like three to five minutes. They still have a little bit of a bite to them. So they're done when they rise to the surface typically. So you don't need to really bring it back to a boil. I just put the, the lid on it and keep an eye on it. So while these gnocchis are cooking, we're gonna make this delicious cinnamon butter sauce that is super, super, super simple. It is just one stick of butter, I have a, a pan right here. You want to make sure you have a pan big enough or a pot big enough to hold the gnocchi once they're done. And I have it over medium low heat and I'm going to melt a stick of butter into this. And then keep an eye on it. You don't want it to burn. Once the butter is melted, I'm going to add a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. So I was reading up on this recipe and apparently in Italy this is a classic dish and a lot of times they said in Rome they actually put some raisins into it. Um, I'm going to omit the raisins this time. So as it's melting I'm going to add my cinnamon, a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. And then as soon as the gnocchis are done I'm going to drain them and coat them in the cinnamon butter sauce and then I'm going to give you two options for some delicious toppings. Um, but this is honestly really fun to serve at a dinner party. It could be dessert with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. You also could serve it as part of the main course because I'll show you my little savory option once they're done. So come back in a few. So as you can see, all the potato gnocchi have risen to the top. It's been about three to five minutes. I never let it come back to a boil and that's my trick. That way they don't break and explode all over the place. So I'm gonna come over to the stove, strain these bad boys, and then I'm going to toss them directly into the cinnamon butter mixture. So now, Give these a stir. Oh, it smells so good. And then I'm going to show you my two different options for plating. One's extra sweet for dessert, and one is savory if you want to serve it as a meal. Let's come over here. All right, so for your savory option, you plate these. And they smell delicious, almost caramely. And then add a heaping mound of Parmesan cheese. So that is your sweet and savory, and you can even take it one step further. I like this combo when I do a little crushed red pepper flakes. And then I forgot the main thing, I didn't forget, but brown sugar. So for this whole entire recipe, it gets two tablespoons of brown sugar, but I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on top. And for the sweet version, plate your gnocchis, don't put any Parmesan cheese, and just do an extra hearty sprinkle of brown sugar. And if I was serving this for dessert, I'd put a little dollop of vanilla ice cream. But bon appetit, and you'll never look at gnocchi the same again, I'm sure.